Can you really make six figures Uber driving in 2023? Well, in this video, I will be sharing with you how much money you can exactly make Uber driving in 2023. This video is a start of brand new series in which I will be going out and testing traditional side hustles such as Uber driving Uber Eats and seeing how much money can you actually make from these side hustles. For the purpose of this video, I've gone ahead and created a brand new Uber driving account for myself and I went ahead and listed my 2022 Tesla Model 3 to see how much money I can generate Uber driving in Sydney, Australia. Just to be clear, I'm not affiliated with Uber to make this video and I will only be showing you the real figures you make whilst driving with Uber. And at the same time, I will be sharing with you my own mistakes when it comes to driving on these ride sharing platforms. Make sure to watch this video till the end to see the exact hourly rate which I end up earning through this experience. Now let's get straight into the value. So the first thing which I did was actually going onto the Uber's website and creating myself a driving account which was completely separate to the normal one. And then I was asked to actually go ahead and do my ID verification. It took them 48 hours to get back with a like approval and this whole process costed me around 100 Australian dollars and again this process is different for each individual state and country. And the final step was to actually have your car inspected by a local authority and thereafter you were good to go. I've just got into my car. So it's a Wednesday 1pm. Let's see how many rides we'll be getting today. So to start off this trip, I've charged my car to complete 100% which will give me 420 kilometers of range. To start riding on the thing, all we have to do is go onto the app. And as you guys can see, I'm currently on the Uber driver app. All I have to do is click go. And as you can see, we have gone online. Let's wait out for a bit to see you know, when we'll get our first run. It shows how much money we have made today. This will give you all the information. You can click on the upcoming promotions. So if you complete more than 30 trips, you'll be giving a bonus 750 bucks. These are all the upcoming games in the local area. So these are basically events which I can you know drive around to. And as you can see, these are all my current ratings. I've got zero points because this is going to be my very first ride. Let's just click on cross and let's just wait out. Another cool feature on the app is you can click on this function over here and you can select which kind of Uber ride you want to do. Uber X or Uber Pool. I don't want to do Uber Pet. So that's my preference. Another great thing about this Uber app is you can filter your trips forward. So what you have to do for that is just click on search and let's just see you're driving to own particular thing. Let's just say airport. You can just click on this and you can set destination. But doing this, you can drive straight to Sydney airport and, and you can also collect any rides on the way to the airport. So this is quite convenient. If you're going to one particular direction and you want to do Uber rides in that specific direction. So this is our first fare. Let's go ahead and click confirm. All right, let me put on my seatbelt, put the car on drive and off we go. So I just completed my first trip. This trip went for like 20 minutes. It was like super quick. I was super nervous at the start on what I should be doing with the rider, but it was quite smooth. The guy was a pretty chill guy. He gave me, I think, a good rating. I don't know how much money I have made from this ride. Actually, I do now, so I can show you. From this very first trip, I've made $24.64. And I've come up to this like, you know, little car shop in Parramatta. So I'm just waiting for my second trip to come up, but let's see how quickly that comes. So in this quick 20 minute drive, in terms of the car con battery consumption, this trip costed 3% of my charge, which is not bad if you think of it. But yeah, like so far Uber driving has been pretty fun. Let's see, you know, how many trips I can do today and let's see what the whole experience is like. So it's been like more than 10 minutes since I finished my first trip and I still haven't gotten my second trip yet. I understand now why most Uber drivers have like different kind of apps open on their thing. So they'll have DD, Ola, Uber all open at the same time to see whichever app gives them the first quick, quickest ride possible. So I'm understanding those tips and tricks now. But yeah, let's keep waiting and to see, you know, when exactly we'll get our second ride. But um, this is one thing which you guys need to keep in mind that, hey, look, even, you know, there's no fixed amount on, you know, how many rides you'll be getting, especially in off-peak hours on a weekday. A few moments later. As you can see, I've gotten a second trip as soon as I put the camera down. Now let's go and pick up the second ride. Well, the last trip from Parramatta to Cogra was like more than 45 minutes and it made us earn around $48. So we are currently sitting on $71.87 for today's earnings. But oh my God, guys, as you could tell, this was my very first long trip, you know, which in which I drove more than 40 minutes. It was pretty tiring. Um, you know, we had a quick, nice conversation with this with the rider it went pretty smooth but now i'm getting the gist of you know uber driving and you know the whole process of just driving long distances i'm not that far from sydney international airport right now so i'm thinking i should maybe go in over there as there is currently surge pricing over there another cool thing which i wanted to show you guys about this specific uber driving app was you could see your driving time so as you can see you know this is the amount of driving hours which are currently available also as you can see on the current on the app currently these are i'm currently standing over here 
and this is the Sydney International Airport. So for airport, apparently you have to go to this designated pickup area, this waiting area, and it actually shows you how many cars are in the queue ahead of me. So, and it also shows you the peak in you know flight hours at Sydney International Airport. So this is a great app for you guys to see. You know if you can pick up any rides from the airport. Um, not don't know much of how it goes, but look, I guess this is a great thing for you to, you to look into. And if anyone of you knows how this works, comment down below in the comment section. But let's just close this for now. But yes, so yeah, as you can see, there are two different waiting areas. One's for international, other one's for domestic airport. Let's see how long we have to wait before our third ride. One eternity later. Yeah. We just refunded after the trip completed. Yeah. So technically, your earnings is only shows as forty-seven dollars okay. thirty-three cents. And just just to confirm, the okay. toll is paid separately to me. Okay. I'm yes, it's paid to you separately. Whilst waiting for my next ride, I decided to call Uber support and ask them a few questions I had. First of them, which was about toll. All of this information was available on this website, but I decided not to read. So yeah, I killed some waiting time by talking to Uber support. But you know what? I was still not getting any ride anytime quick. So then I decided to go have some quick snack. So after having spoken to, you know, the Uber support team about like, you know, how the toll works and how the Sydney airport, you know, waiting works. I had a quick bite at Ikea. I'm now I'm driving to Sydney airport to see if I can pick up a ride from there. But let's see how the process goes. All right, let's go. Now let's take a look at the total number of, you know, waiting lists for cars in like a domestic airport and the waiting list over here is a lot higher. So I've been waiting for more than like 15 minutes now at the Sydney International Airport waiting area just to see, you know, how many rides I can pick up from here for, from the airport. But it's looking not so promising. Even though, you know, this is a very hot surcharge area yet again, you know, there's not enough ride so you have to wait for a bit so like honestly speaking this a whole experience of uber driving is quite new to me like it's one thing which i've realized is you can't expect to have rides back to back you have to you have downtime in the middle so that downtime you can use you know take a break have a you know have a coffee quick snack but um you can't expect to you know be busy all the time that's something which i've experienced from my um driving in like last two two and a half hours let's be patient and let's see if we can get any more rides anytime soon now looking at the charge of my car we're currently sitting on 88 percent hours later look i can see some dd guys up there with the free ride promotion going on but yeah like honestly speaking guys like i've kind of given up on this whole airport thing i'm just gonna drive ahead to the, the local beaches nearby and see if I can get a ride from there. I saw so many Uber drivers in near this airport who were just sitting there sleeping in their car because even they didn't have any rides, you know, basically drop off too. So yeah, um, I'm just gonna jet from this area. I don't know if I'm making a smart decision. Comment down below if I'm, you know, if I'm making a mistake. But yeah, this is a great experience for all of you to see the actual reality that, you know, you can't expect to be busy all the time. But yeah, let's see how we go um yeah and see if you can get any rides locally in the area it says on the app that most of the flights are landing at sydney international april around after 5 pm and it's currently 3 34 pm so got an hour and a half to you know basically kill slash you know um you know stay occupied for i just don't want to sit in my car and sleep i've already taken a nice long one hour break now I want to keep on driving so we have finally gotten a third trip after waiting for so long let's go and pick this person up well guys ride number three is also completed this ride was really short it only went for like 15 odd minutes but um we only got paid 15 13 dollars for it which is not that great also probably because the duration was very small um i'm currently in newtown city not that far from the airport but as you can see, we're currently sitting on $84 for today. All right, after having driven for like last few hours, I was just waiting for a ride. So I thought I'll quickly go grab a coffee from 7-Eleven, which is the Uber Central. But um, yeah, so we're still waiting for more rides to come by. Let's see how long it's gonna take us. But until then, let's just enjoy this $1.50 coffee.
all right guys so quick update for you so after the last coffee break at 7-eleven i basically went onto the uber driving app and i set my destination as home so basically i started driving toward my home and i picked up two different rides on the way home so they were like very short 10 10 minute drives i picked up someone from like point a to point b and they were all on the way back home so in total today i did six different trips and let's go back onto my desk to see how much money we actually made in like almost five hours of uber driving well 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 Guess who's back from all the hustle of Uber driving? So well, it was a great day of Uber driving for us today. I, I actually managed to complete six total trips today and guess how much we earned for that amount of driving. So we earned a whopping $113.79 and this amount included a $2 tip thanks to two of my riders and we were online for a total of six hours and 22 minutes. And again, this is the total earnings which we had, but this was on the actual money which came in my pocket. We need to consider in factors such as your car's depreciation, cost of fuel or gas and in my case cost of charging where i drive my tesla for 200 cases is only nine dollars so in reality i only made 104 dollars and 79 cents when you divide this 104 dollars and 79 cents with six hours to calculate our hourly rate it comes up to 17.47 dollars an hour and this rate doesn't even factor the cost of depreciation of your car for all the driving you do again to make it clear to everyone watching this video i did all of this driving during the non-peak hours which was during the daytime from 1 pm all the way up to 7 p.m which is not as busy as compared to early morning and late night if i wanted to optimize my earnings and a bit extra for the same amount of driving i would do two things differently firstly i would drive during peak hours which is early morning and late nights or maybe on weekends and this leads to point number two driving in areas which have surcharges quite often so in the case of sydney city you get most of the surcharges near the downtown areas so if you want to make some extra money you should be driving in those particular suburbs not out in the west in the burbs so if you guys were also as shocked as me to find out this actual earnings rate or if you reckon i could have done something differently comment down below and if you guys found this video useful go smash that like button for the youtube algorithm subscribe for part two to see what other challenges i do until then take care and i'll see you in the next one